Hey guys, I'm Ozzy, and today I'm with JJ, Mikey Stacks, and we are on episode nine of Tuned Into the Culture. So we got a lot to talk about, man. First thing I want to bring up is my boy Carmelo Anthony retiring. Uh, Ten time NBA All Star. We gotta say how he the he the first special guest we got. Oh yeah, let's let's go ahead and bring that up. <laughs> hey man, welcome to the show. See, look, he got a full plate, man. He eating good. Look, so tell him tell him what you eating on right now. Oh, shit, oh shit. You know, some delicious baked beans got down with a little egg with sausage in it. We got some mashed potatoes, homemade, you feel what I'm saying? And then the, what was the rice called? Jalal fries, though. Jalal rice. rice, and then some spicy ass, hot ass, goddamn fried ass chicken. <laughs> Shit. Hey, man, that's not for the week, bro. You got a loose stomach? I do. I do. That's, that's why the video question. is going to be short as hell, man, because I might have to go ahead. <laughs> I can't have it in the season. That's crazy. Yeah, we're gonna start having some special guests on our shit, so yeah, be our first one. So shout out to my nigga Jay over here. Yeah, man. Welcome to the team. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. He might be a recurring guest, depending on how good he do, you know? Damn. I think I thought you were some American Idol. Damn. I get three X's and I'm out this bitch. Yeah, yeah, so, okay. He said, they're gonna be like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this new guy. Get this guy off. They said, they said, hmm. I don't know, man. Something about him just seems a little. Black. <laughs> eating fried chicken and then talking about random black activity. I don't like it. Oh, uh, shit. It's gonna be a nigga in conversation. But yeah, you say you wanna get into Melo? Uh, so I just had to take a bite of this chicken so good, you know. It's almost like I made it myself. It's almost. Almost. Shit. Yeah, yeah this thing got some taste to it, you know. I got some red kind of pepper seeds and some lemon pepper for a little like, counterbalance. Yeah. I just wish I just wish I just wish my, my brothers in Christ were a little bit stronger and had their moms didn't give birth to young sons with weak stomachs. But it's okay though. Not everybody can be direct African descendant bloodline. What is this talking about? That's what I'll for another day. You know who Carmelo Anthony got there. <laughs> Carmelo Anthony. Ten time NBA All Star? Oh man. Dropping buckets. Nineteen seasons. Oh, How much change he was on? Nuggets. He was on the Raptors. Raptors. You were on the Raptors? No, nah, not the, yeah, the Blazers. The Blazers. The Blazers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, The Nuggets, Blazers, Lakers, OKC, Rockets. Mm. Yeah, you had team. a very illustrious career, man. Yeah, he did. Too bad he never won a ring. In team, you say you can't get down. Yeah, but even though yeah. he didn't win the rings, he, he still got gold in the Olympics. So he wasn't on the team with the Lakers when they won the ring. No, no he wasn't. He that was he a came after. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Well, I think, yeah, it was the season after. But it's okay. There's a lot of players like Carmelo Anthony who, like, they have great stats and just don't got a ring. Some people go, oh, you'll never be the good because you know. But it's like, if you get Olympic medals, I think that, that should balance it out. Because you're still good on the global yeah. level. Mm-hmm. So. I like the little video. I don't know if I went to his Instagram. He posted a little. About his son. Yeah, about his son. I think his son going to be nice to carry his legacy. That would be nice. Well, shout out to... uh. Carmelo, man, you had a lustrous like, career. Stay like Melo, yeah. man. Stay like Melo. And keep it on the sports topic. Let's rest in peace, our guy, Jim Brown, man. Uh-huh. Hall of Fame running back right there. Yeah. Civil yeah. rights activist, man. Playing with the Browns. Had a ring with them. Yeah. Been on the team for many years, man. Yeah, he was big in civil, act, civil rights, I think, too. like, it was, like, two games ago they did a tribute to him. And yeah. It was the Lakers versus the Nuggets. Yeah. And then LeBron did a post a tribute, like, because he gave this lot earlier on before he passed yeah. away. Like, this is a video of him sitting courtside. At a game, and LeBron's literally like bowing his head, paying respect. Yeah, like you know, it's a dope picture from back should, in the day. Bro. You seen the picture? It was him, Bill Russell, yeah. Muhammad Ali, yeah. and a few other athletes back in the day yeah. going for civil rights because they were supporting Ali because he didn't want to go into the draft or whatever. Yeah. So that man, that man, that man was like, my name is not Cassius Clay. I am Muhammad Ali. I do not represent y'all. <laughs> <laughs> he was the OG. Find somebody else to do it. Right. So, hey man, you know, you already know what I'm sipping on. I'm sipping on that OG Sprite, that clean drink. Rest in peace to Jim Brown right now. Yeah. And Muhammad Ali and Bill Russell and the rest of them. Yeah. Muhammad Ali, he's not, he not dead. He, he is dead. dead. He's dead, bro. I thought he was. He died from Alzheimer's. No, I knew like he was sick, right? Dang. He, he been dead for years now. Oh, yeah. I, thought, I thought he still had some years. I don't know. I kind of hurt. I kind of hurt a little. Bit. Oh yeah. So recent news, yo. So Devin Haney and uh, Lomachenko. So Loma Everybody Chico talking about he got cheated. Bro, like, it's like every, everybody that say he Fuck got him. cheated, they don't watch boxing. Because first Fuck. of all, I ain't watched the fight. I was asleep, but yeah, yeah. yeah we know. Yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Man was like, I'm gonna be there, man. Nigga, nigga, on live stream. Nigga, gonna get on live stream. He was like, the fact. I was like, bro, I know this man on the live. And I said, I was like, look at him. Keep out your life, man. I wanna see this up. Anywho, everybody that was saying that uh, Loma was robbed, they're saying that because he, in the last few rounds, he started throwing more punches. Because of course, he was throwing more punches. He couldn't, he couldn't clinch no more, and he was getting tired. So he said, like, oh, I, I can't go outside. I don't want to get knocked out. Yeah. So of course, he was dodging and throwing. He did get knocked problem, down. The problem with the fight is that Haney was landing more punches. And if yeah. you look at the end of the fight, when they do the post interview, yeah. You look at Loma's face, he had all this he had all these bruises under his eyes. He was getting pieced up. Yeah. So even if you say he landed more punches, the damage is done. So clearly, if they were gonna stop the fight, they would have stopped Loma because he was getting yeah. hurt way more than Haney. Haney walked out, he could go the next day and do his school pictures. Yeah. He'd be like and then Loma would be like, Hey man, I am I'm gonna get with y'all next week. Yeah. So he fought great though, because they were they were pretty evenly rounded, like evenly matched. But Haney just landed more, he landed him stronger in consecutive punches that actually like did more damage. Yeah. So anyone that didn't watch the fight, that's on you, man. You should have you should have tapped in. Yeah, I just seen all this outrage online. I was like, what the fuck are they talking about? Yeah, yeah, really? And he also got knocked out. Like he didn't get knocked out, but he got knocked to his knees. Even Boozy was like, I had money on Haney, but he shouldn't have won that. I'm like, okay, just, what? just say you don't watch boxing, bro. That's all <laughs> Uh, before we go to the next topic, my boy Biggie birthday yesterday. He would have been 51. Rest in peace, one of the goats. You know, shout out to Biggie. Hope he in heaven, turning up up there. But uh, oh, you king of New York. Just want to throw that in there. Yeah, he's the real right. king of New York right there. Rest in peace. What's the next? What's the next thing we got? So LeBron's son Brian Jr. You know, oh, yeah, he go viral. That's just on it. Yeah, man. So he That's the same girl he was with last year, though. I don't understand. You know how she is, man. man. They see a black man with a white one. They start going, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He was also on a ride because he, he was wearing a suit. He was wearing chrome hearts, like everything chrome hearts. And he got the suit. Got the chest show like he had the 70s. You know what I'm saying? Like he played like, 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 yeah, Go on, <laughs> And people were saying it was funny because LeBron's high school prom pictures popped up, too. And he also took a white woman, too. I mean, it don't really matter. But Dr. Umar gonna cry about it later. He'll be like, so be like my brother in Christ. As a matter of fact, he is important. He said you out here. So you're out here giving in money with the white man once. He's like, you need to going after a system. <laughs> but like, you know what's so crazy? Most athletes, their wives are white, bro. Like mm. a lot of them, like a lot of football players, NBA players, all their wives are like foreign or white. Like I'm, LeBron's probably one of the few like top superstar athletes that I see that has a black wife. Dirk mm-hmm. Nowitzki. Andrew. Well, yeah, him. But I'm talking about like black men and black girls. Carmelo Anthony, Lala, they divorced. Well, but I'm saying, but well, they were they were married for a long time. And Steph Curry, my like, should be. I, I don't know. She mixed. Oh, no, no, she mixed. She's she not really black. She, she mixed. So she don't even like, like homeless people. So <laughs> <laughs> I mean, her standards are all over the place. But that's a she topic. bad though. She bad. Bitch. That's a topic for another day. But there, if you were just like, oh man, I can't believe. I'm like, he's a he's a he's about he's 18. He can make his own decisions. Yeah, and there should be nobody business who you dating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'd be so funny. Those the same dude that go, oh man, you love is love, but then they be worried about small stuff like this, like that. No matter. Them, them females on the shade room. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Y'all the first ones to get mad at a nigga marrying a white girl, but y'all the same females that don't even give a nigga a chance. Like, Damn. I don't understand that. Sunday was yesterday. You preaching? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, saying though. That's not, that's not kind of personal. Thing. No, no, it ain't uh, personal. My, my, my brother in Christ that you like to show the congregation. That, that, that ain't happened to me. I just know that happened to other people. Like. Jesus. They the same ones that claim, oh, why you with a white girl? Right. Well, the black girl, he tried to get what they want him. So what do you expect him to do? Preach. I mean, if, if the girl, if the girl you trying to get what they show you love, you gonna go find something different. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I'm Growing up in high school, when I was younger, mm-hmm. I ain't had no love with black women like that. When I was younger, always the white women always show we love. So that's so funny. That's what I gravitated to. So this know what you're doing? It's not even just that. It's the fact that I have more. <laughs> I have success with white women. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I had more success with them than I do with fucking white black ones. Shit, do what you do, shit. Me and me and bro, we finna get our passports. We finna turn to some passport, bro. Yeah, I'm trying to travel the world. All right. Yeah. I already got my passport. Yeah, my day got it before last appointment. Yeah, I got that day last year because mine was expired, but it's, it's good now, bro. I'm, it's kind of funny because me and Jay, we about to play Super Mario Bros. 3D World after this, but. So Marvels, they're now the second highest animated film to make the most money in the box office. It was over one, one billion. It was a good movie. Man. A lot of people say that the movie was mid. I, I, the movie it wasn't mid. I'm saying, I'm just saying. Especially the end part with, uh, with 
when Jack Black, he, he just, he just, he just, he just. And then the the star, he was talking about some. He said death is a sleep release. <laughs> no, he, he was he was talking all <laughs> depressing throughout the whole movie. It was funny. And Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong, that was perfect. Seth Rogen and uh, Zach Black literally carried the movie. Who was the man? Who played Mario again? Like yeah. Chris Pratt. Well, Luigi. Uh, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. He played Princess. I don't even think really matter. Luigi had such a very little role in the movie. He probably said about like 12 Bad. lines. Who like, played Princess? That's that one lady. I can't remember her name off the top of my head. I can look it up though. Let's you know they're going to make a part two because it did so good. Oh yeah, for sure. I just wonder what they're going to do because I know like the people that made Sonic. characters they left out. Yeah, like Waluigi, uh, Oreo. They talk about something. Snow they want to do. They want to do like more shy guys. Chuck Norris. Yeah. Let's see. Super nah. Mario Bros. casting. But Jack Jack White really did his thing though as Bowser. Yeah, he did, bro. Man, like, peaches, 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 peaches. He said, "Cool and true ones will never stop me from being with you." <laughs> what was the, the, the part that really annoyed me though is that they cut him off before he finished the song, and then I listened to the track list. Yeah. Same thing. The, he didn't even finish the song in the thing. So I guess like they did that as a joke. But I think they should have let him go all the way. Let him do like the full two minute, thirty seconds. I feel like Yoshi should have a better part of that though. No. Anya Taylor Joy is the one that voices him. And I feel like they didn't do Yoshi. Oh, though. Charlie. Since we on the movie, Charlie Day voice Luigi. Since we on the movie talk. Mm-hmm. I know y'all ain't checked it out, but I just seen that motherfucker yesterday, and I'm telling you, that three part finna go crazy. Fast X, go watch that shit, bro. They gonna have a. I don't know. I'm talking. They bro. They had. They brought the new uh, the new Hellcat, mm-hmm. the fucking oh, the electric one, the electric one. But it sound like. <laughs> no, they, they never started. It was just like in the front yard. It sound like. <laughs> like it sound like a little electric. Nah, they like a big lake. It is. <laughs> they got transformers in this shit. All right. They talk about <laughs> you wouldn't say that. They said that it's only a matter of time before nah, nah, Ben Diesel's nah. car his, his charger transformed. You know when I stopped watching that shit? When I seen the Rock lift up a car with one hand. I know y'all seen that one. Who's uh, the one? I stopped watching. Ben Diesel was, was like, no, nah, I stopped watching it when they had uh, Paul Walker Crippen. Forget about it, cuz. He's, he's, forget about it, cuz. So y'all, y'all, so y'all, didn't, y'all forget when Tyrese's character he literally fell into the ice and he jumped out. Bro, if you fall into like an ice <laughs> ice water like that, you should not be able to. And then he used the or, shit. or the one where they had with the uh where he was running and the damn truck had flipped over, and burned up. This man used a door as a shield for blast. Said, how did he not get lit up? Man, y'all gotta see that. They didn't stop the show. The movie stopped being realistic a long time. Yeah, the, the new one is, is definitely. It wild used to just shit. be about like just straight up street racing and making money off of illegal races, and then yeah. it just turned it's to still about family, Then it went to heist. Then it went about saving the world. They, they, had, they got a rocket car in space, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah, then, then it was about getting revenge. And, like, <coughs> everybody from their past was popping up. He said, "You thought I forget about what you did to him? Like, what did he do to you? He just raised his car. If you lost your pink slip, that's on you. No. Should have never gambled with your car." The new one, the new one actually plays on on the last one. Okay, where like they did the heist to do yeah, the robbery yeah, with yeah. that bank because mm-hmm. he killed old dude's dad and up on the bridge. Is this the one? Hold on, I gotta find this shit. This man gonna get this copyright story. Huh? He'll get a copyright strike. Point you, you know, you know. Oh, you, you, speaking bro. of copyright strike, y'all heard about the damn strike with uh, old dude from Family Guy? Oh yeah, so oh, yeah. So right now in, in Hollywood, a lot of TV show writers and movie writers are are stepping down and they're going on a strike. Right. Right? Because what happens is, a lot of when people write for shows, they get paid. Like the actors get paid one one time first for like their acting, and then they get paid a residual amount of money every time it gets played on a streaming service, TV network, or it gets put on DVD. But the problem is, Hollywood's like, no, we just want to pay you guys one time, and they're like, well, we can't go for that because we this is you guys gonna keep making money off of our likeness and our voices, but every time this gets put out, it's kind of like the same thing with that movie we just watched, Air. Michael Jordan, his mom was like, uh, I think her name was Doris or Dolores. Mm-hmm. Doris Jordan, or Dolores Jordan, she was like, she was like, <laughs> get it right now. What? So now she, was, she, she was like, any, she was like, anytime, man. she was like, anytime my son sells a shoe and with his name on, he should get a percentage of it. Because Nike was like, oh, we just want to pay you twenty three thousand dollars a year. And she was like, well, that's nice and all, but I want him to get a cut for every time a shoe gets sold. And yeah. Nike was like, well, we don't know if we can do that. Like, he said, well, then he's not gonna do the deal. She said, this, the shoes don't mean nothing until you put them on. And I was like, dang, preach to one, preach to one. Yeah. So the writers are essentially doing the same thing. They want to cut every time you get shown somewhere. Because if you were making money off of your likeness every time, you would want to cut too. Yeah. You got to look at it like that. It, but Hollywood got the money. So for them to be acting cheap is kind of crazy. Maybe if they start doing all these reboots, 
they would have to be extra stingy with the money because reboots be failing because they think that they can make money off of nostalgia. But what ends up happening is that people are like, yeah, we don't actually want a remix of what we already like. Yeah, they're almost new shit. It's only a few times where a reboot or like a reimagining is good. Like, you know how many times they made Ghostbusters? Yeah. Like that, damn. They switched it up. They just took the whole niggas out of it. They just yeah. put a whole. Then they looked at it. Yeah. Then they made them as kids. Yeah. Right. So, but Bel Air was a good reimagining of because they weren't like undoing yeah. like the whole. But it was just it, how it would be if it took place in modern day. It was good. Yeah. And also, they had the original people from the show on there, like the girl that played uh, what's her name, Ashley. She yeah. played the teacher in the in season two, yeah. and that was nice. She was a teacher at Bel Air, so that was a nice little like a. Uh, Little yeah. Easter egg, you know what I'm saying? So I, I appreciate when they have the original dude from the original show on there. Like Will Smith exactly produced Bel Air, you know? So it was good. It, it, it wasn't like them just throwing a whole bunch of random crazy things and then just because they could. So yeah. I go around. So next thing we gotta talk about that boy Rick Ross and DJ Envy. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said, he said, you okay, bass boy? Envy, yeah. He said, DJ Envy. <laughs> He was talking to me. He's like, I'm gonna get your seven kids, seven sons that came out pool. I did, yeah. He said, <laughs> he said I'm gonna try to be over there in the corner. DJ Envy, you gonna you gonna DJ do your thing. <laughs> yeah. And your boy's gonna break in right here to Beastie Boy. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Ooh. Bro, DJ Envy. He said, he said, DJ, he said, 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 that was, said, a, that was, that yeah, was he violence. said, uh, you use, uh, what did he say? He said, you Airbnb your house, Officer Ricky. I said, damn. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like everyone, everyone always brings up the fact that he used to be a correction officer, but no one ever brings up the fact that no one actually hears DJ, sees DJ Envy, like, performing at, like, shows or anything. No, he actually had, like, a little backstory to how him and his wife got together. Mm-hmm. Shit crazy. Hey, even, I think he was, like, booking or some shit. But yeah. is it really funny for, like, a DJ to be beefing with a rapper when, like, Cause he all he did was say like, oh, by the way, he said he's like, oh, you're Airbnb in your house. But everybody knows that Rick Ross was really under like problem with the I- IRS. They will get their money no matter what. So if he was really in legal trouble, they would have already got him. Like, yeah, what's his name? It was uh, Ronaldo or one of the soccer players. He had a the tax evasion. He had to pay that. IRS collected. They always collect. Oh, yeah, no bro. one can run away from IRS. I don't care if you the Flash. You can't cut. See up. Wesley Snipes. He be him and his ass. So uh, they got him. They they on the way to get a little pumped too. <laughs> And Lord, they, already got, song. they already got our killer. That nigga ain't got no hit, so he need to hope he got some money somewhere. Yeah, speaking of we got a little punk. Your boy is J. Cole, man. That song, it, it it already got streamed over 15 million times. You know that shit be better life. than Young Boy's whole album? That one single? Yeah. Not yeah. too much. Richest flop? I mean, I, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> you know, you're going to get the 4K straight over there. Like, hey, they said Young Boy better. Young Boy, hey, hey, young boy hey, song, it's young Follow these dudes on their on they acts and comment on that shit. 4K Trey shit. I'm going to disable my comment. I'm going to disable my comment. You know they fan base is crazy. You know they fan base is crazy. I'm not a fan of no fanboy, bro. That's what they are. They're going to be smiling for Young Boy. I don't see that why be better shit no more, though. No, no, no. If you go on Academics page, I go on his page every day. What's the name you're saying, though? Nikki, Nikki, yeah, Nikki, but she know because she's her fan base crazy too. Nikki just try to ride whatever wave is hot. Yeah, that's, Ice Spice, her like he, Nikki, Nikki, you old and washed. Nah, that one, that one, he's wild. Like, Nikki Wait, not still a goat. She is wild. I can't defend him on that one. She's washed. Look, she's still one of the goats. No, he don't go. Yeah, she 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 don't, she she don't, she don't I'm not gonna go that far because, like, saying watches means that if she drop music, no one's gonna listen to it. That's what the definition. Nikki, of her music. fans. They're fucking bars, whatever they call themselves on watch. But me and you was not gonna check it out. If a Nicki album drop, I'm not going on my phone saying, let's see that new Nicki Minaj. Yeah, but if you got a nice little that's speech, a, if you got Drake on it, yeah. yeah that's that's, that's if you're not a supporter, so that's cool. But I'm saying like the cost of the watch means that they fell off. Meaning if they put out music right now, for Nicki. Listen real quick. You're you misusing you're using I don't like this artist versus No, I don't have a problem with old Nicki, new Nicki is just bosh to me. I'm just saying. Man. So you gonna download her album? If it's good, I'll listen to it. But I don't care right now. He's a natural born hater. I'm not a natural born hater. She's washed. Nigga. This nigga, I called this nigga listening to a Anaconda kind of yesterday. I said, man, he's going to go on. He was going to go on. Super bass. Super bass. Look, I'm going to go on. 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 I'm going
I still listen to Moment for Life and Starship. Yeah, Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. featured, dude. Well, yeah. Starship's don't got it. Starship, you like that song? That's a good song. She even said that like her worst song she ever made. Oh, there you go. There you go with that hate and stuff. No, she said that herself in the interview. They asked her, like, what song I, you know, crazy. Like, I was wondering how many minutes would go by until he started beat riding Drake. And he right. already did it, man. And he probably wearing OVO boxes right now. Actually, it's Hane, but no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That shit go. That shit go. He was like, wait, wait, no, I'm with OVO. No, no, no. I got no OVO boxes. Oh, I know he got OVO boxes for sure. I don't got no OVO boxes. But shout out to Drake. He is. He got a pet owl out of here right now. Yeah, yeah, that's a good go, bro. He's my favorite artist of all time. Yeah, Under Biggie. He's on Biggie, then Drake. Nah, he, he really yeah. wanted to say Drake over him. He, and Biggie was alive. So he, he said, like, fuck Wayne. Huh? Fuck Lil Wayne? Wayne up there, too. He like number. He right under there. He go big. Under Drake? Biggie, Drake, Wayne. You're wild. You Benji. think Drake is better than Lil Wayne? Yes, nigga. Look, I don't know. It wouldn't be no fucking Drake. It wouldn't be. Wayne. But I like Drake flow better than Wayne flow. Wow. But Wayne was a go to when he. Right, I got to up. So now this is probably kind of. Nigga, you know this is opinion based, right, nigga? Yeah, Who's your opinion. favorite rapper of all time? Favorite rapper? It's it between J. Cole and Kanye for real. Yes, yeah, but I'm it's just, opinionated. Yeah, I'm not gonna yeah. hate on you for you nah, liking somebody. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not tripping. You act like I'm saying Little B or somebody. Nah, nah. It's, 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 it's your opinion. I ain't tripping over. I'm just saying. Guy. I'm just saying. No, but Wayne, I do give Wayne his credit. He paved the way for Drake and Nicki for sure. Yeah. And Tyga, and he put a lot of people on. So Wayne always got my respect. When it comes to mixtapes right, and right, shit, right. Wayne is definitely going to put it out there. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, just just make, sure. I just want to make sure you weren't violating. Yeah, go on. Yeah, come on, dog. But like, I like more Drake songs than I do Wayne songs, but Wayne is still a goat though. Yeah, I just want to make sure you want you want to try to act downplay my boy Weezy. Yeah, yeah. I never downplay Wayne. Right, fuck no, right. you be an idiot. He's on the Mount Rushmore rappers. Right. To me, my Mount Rushmore rappers is Biggie, Drake, Wayne, and who's number four? Probably Jay Z up there. Okay, I never got into him, but okay. Old nice. Jay Z though, not the new shit. Him. So. For the next topic, Chef G and Sleepy Hollow, they both facing Rico charges. The A Tray Crips, like they faced up to 25 years. They they tried, of course, they're claiming that they're innocent, but I'm just like, they, they, they caught one wire tap on the phone to be yeah. a pig lab. Ooh. Yeah, they, been, they, they said, I don't know why they were pig lab. They should have they been like, how to get in power. They were using key phrases. Yeah. I, I don't understand how there'd be shows like Power and uh, what's that movie? Tony Montana. It's, Scarface and they be having all these movies about how to be successful drug and what you should not do. And to learn them today, it's like don't be talking on the phone. The feds always listening every day. They tap nice. in. They got one of your well, somebody in your crew right now wearing a wire. You don't even know it. Not me though. One of y'all, but not me. No, probably I mean, him though. He, yeah. he's a Drake fan, but nigga, you a Drake fan too, nigga. Fuck out of here. I'm a Drake supporter. You're a Drake fan. Nice. I can't be a Drake fan. What's so bad about being a they fan of a rapper? Fan. I'm just saying, fans just mean that. You got like I mean a fan. I can see if I was a little B fan or something, but I'm a, I'm actually I'm a little B fan because that nigga's trash. But I'm actually a <laughs> fan of a rapper that the. I fan of a rapper with the most Billboard hits of all time, the most fucking streams of all his albums. Talk to him. Like, I'm a fan of a legit rapper. Like a legit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He's not a little summer your beard. There you go. This nigga's trying to play me. All right, I got you. Man. I got you off camera. You just had a, you just had a, a, a little. My bad. I'll stop giving the go his credit. My fault. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I talk about Drake a lot. My bad. It's, it's nothing wrong being a Drake fan. But I'm just saying, like, the way you just be bringing him up and casually in every episode, we kind of crazy. Like, I like Kanye, but you don't hear me be like Kanye. Because he be Kanye. in the news a lot, nigga. He's his name is always everything. Racist. Everything that we were talking about this episode, none of it had none, none of the. Nicki Minaj, he's like, part of Young Money. Nicki Minaj, I'm not shit. About Drake, though. Young Money, that whole I was talking about how Wayne put on Nicki and Drake, nigga. He just wanted to talk. Because he brought up Wayne. I said I give Wayne credit because he put on Nicki and Drake, nigga. That's how he got mentioned. I never laughed. Look at your heart. I just brought him. Look at your blood pressure, man. Damn, young nigga, relax. My fault, bro. I'm gonna bring your pet owl so you can calm me down. You ain't got no fucking pet owl. Part of OVO camp, you know? Nigga, you part of good music camp. That Coon Kanye. Oh, first of all, <laughs> what role there? I'm more of a J. Cole supporter, but. J. Cole, that nigga don't barely put out music. He had one hot verse in the last year. He, he still be out He ain't consistent rappers. enough to be considered a GOAT. Quality over, quality over. He quality. can rap his ass off when he want to put out music, but he ain't constantly putting out music. He, he, he need to be consistent. Know. Him and that other nigga K. Dot. It's, it's like it's consistent. It's just like Andre 3000. Every time he get a feature, his features be okay. Same thing with Kendrick. Like you can't put them niggas in no goat combo. Them niggas only put out music like that. 
They put out an album once every five years and go in a hot or some shit. Well, like, hey, what's hey I doing? First of all, that that once every five years they only applies to Kendrick Lamar. So, calm yourself. Okay, Cole's like once every four years. My bad. Cole's every two years. You Three do, years. He dropped like, the off season in 2018, nigga. Was it 2019? It was 2021. 2021, bro. 2021. And, like they had, and they had the Dreamville four last year. Yeah, but guess who took over that time? I know you a hater, but you just, you just talking to talk. No, but listen, though. They had the Dream Festival this, this year, right? But guess who took over the show? I'm not going to say his name, though. But you know who I'm well, talking But what was he doing at the show when he was over there? What was, what was he saying? To, he said, let me give you your flowers. You're one of the greats. Of course. He said, you're one of the greats. He did say that. I.e., J. Cole called him a gold, too. They called each other gold. Yeah, they're, both, they're, they're both great artists. One's better than the other. So yeah, they're both great artists. They're both great artists, but one's better than the other. Here we go. This right. I'm from a Cowboys fan. I can't even. What's in you like, Playboy? Don't disrespect. No, no, that's a whole different subject. But I'm saying, what's in you like? I'm a Cowboys fan because I'm from fucking Dallas. But I'm saying, no, because I'm saying, no, I'm saying <laughs> I can't believe, I can't believe you. This is coming from a Cowboys fan. Like, God damn. You know, you know how it is. Houston went to Vegas, man. That's me. He like anything close. That's to a hit. That's a classic. That, that is a hit. I, 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 I that's easy. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just not gonna, I'm just not gonna be getting my behind ready to just eat right now. I don't do gay shit, uh, For one, I'm not gay. For two, I just respect, I just like greatness when I see, I, I respect greatness. Like, Brian, he a goat too. People hate on him, I defend him all the time. Yeah, that's valid. See? But you don't get mad about that. No, I was about saying, like, when, when, you, when you have to, when you have to force his name into every conversation. Bro, his name is mentioned because he's a top rapper, like, he's involved in a lot of shit. People always talking about him. Just saying, none of these topics are Drake topics. Yeah. He said Lil right. Wayne. He said, "I said I can never discredit Lil Wayne because he put on Nicki Minaj and Drake. That is related to a topic because he brought up Lil Wayne. Right. And I said I can't discredit him because he put on Wayne and I, Nicki I, Minaj. I, 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 I know you got, you got decent papers. So actually, it is. You don't even need Chat GPT, man. He uh, just bring it. He's like, I got so free. I got so free. Listen to this. Uh-huh. Listen, you're now tuned into Mikey Stacks and why Drake is number one. <laughs> Nobody else is playing this. <laughs> nah, I got he a said, lot of things. He said, he said, Fish and Drake, I mean, you can keep that in there, but uh, DJ, you go ahead and cry about that verse, that verse. Come and on. The moment, the moment he said, See, yeah, right. it's your boy. See, I wanna, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to get off this topic, but like, you going to make me just stay in it. There's a lot of songs I listen to that niggas don't even listen to the song. We only listen to Drake's part and change the song. So let's keep it real. So yeah, that's, that's a few songs. So, so, so what that's one there, Smiley, Smiley, that's their track. Look Alive. What about the one with Drake? No, Black Boy's verse on Look Alive. I did not give a fuck with Black Boy. But his verse was good, though. You yeah. acted like it was, it was his song. Yeah. Hey, I'm, talk, I'm talking about artists. I'm, I'm talking about when Drake gets on, a, on an artist who had looked like Smiley. What about the Migos before they was the Migos? He, he was like, nobody listened to that. He, before he, the, look, remember Versace remakes? I, for real, I did not listen to that until Drake hopped on it. That's right. First of all, I didn't even know about the Migos back then. I was like, who the fuck are these people? Bro, you never listened to Wire, right? What? I listened to it after that song. Don't bring it Mom, I, I, I started fucking on the after. That man had everybody shouting out their mama and their music for no man, reason. Speaking of Migos, though, the way them niggas ended is just crazy. They, but we gonna talk about another yeah, episode. That, that beef, that beef is going on. Uh, it's not even just that. Just take off dying. And no, he dropped the song. He said, he said it was a I good era. It ended like two songs. When he was like, uh, it was a good run. He said, but there will never be another Migos. It's a, me and no one can replicate it. Yeah. But like they're not. It's it's a it's a shame. But you would think that family would be yeah. over after all the stuff they rapped about about loyalty. I, I just want to know who stayed too for them to be like that. You ever heard, you remember that one episode of the Blue Now? He said, I wonder what he did to make these niggas this mad. <laughs> he was like, my uncle Rocky. Yeah, I mean, no, no, it was uh, Dignificent. He said, oh. I, like, I just, I just be wondering, like, what did he do to be like, Quay was like, nope. They were both, up, they were both, they like, said, all said, fuck people. Sweetie, man. That's what happened. I don't know. I, I don't know. Man. They were just saying one of them trash songs he released. He's talking about. They were talking about the honey bun thing? Yeah, but he was like, yeah, my dog, some <laughs> some shit, his dog. Some I, thought shit. That was, I thought that was a little baby. Bro, bro. Honey, honey buns are sweet, but that song was not, bro. Like, that song was trash. trash. Like, I'm glad we could all agree on that. That song was about sewer. It probably would have been good if it had a Drake feature. I don't think Drake could sing that. He could have. You ever seen that video? Nah, with RUC? I ain't gonna lie. I don't think you, you ever seen that. Either. You ever seen the RUC World video where they were like, he said, he said, he said, he said don't, he said, don't worry about my verse. We just gonna put Drake on. <laughs> he said, he said, he said, it don't even matter. Like, just go ahead and throw, throw Drake on there, man. He'll, he said, hey, it is gonna skip his my part anyway. It was some Drake, and that's See? it. That's it right there. He was like, he, he, he was on YouTube and looking at the, the time stamp. Like, what time Drake get on? He said, Drake comes in at forty five seconds into the verse. He said, bet click forty five and go straight to his verse. I mean, sometimes. Undeniable, right? You know what's so crazy? They still dropping those AI tracks, so. Bro, they got <laughs> hard, though. AI tracks? I know. It's not a I heard, I heard it's this one with fucking, uh, it was, uh, was Biggie Smalls and Jay Z. 
Man, <laughs> uh, they, they made an AI song with uh, Juice World and uh, what's the name? XXX. Uzi and one with XXX. No, did you hear the AI with Lil Uzi off the Codeine Crazy joint? Mm, I they heard did. That one. You know, future song Codeine Crazy. Yeah. They put Uzi verse on. I heard. I heard one with Drake and Uzi. That shit was hard. <laughs> I can't believe. Speaking of that, I, as much as I guess now we gotta talk about Drake. Too, I, <laughs> whatever happened to that Drake and Roddy Rich song that got that leak? In the cut, the song. Yeah, it was. It got leaked. Yeah, yeah, they should have dropped. I don't hate when artists, if the song is sweet, you might as well just drop it because the fans are already listening to it. Just make it official and make your money off of it. Yeah. That's what, uh, what's his name? Uh, Lil Mosey did with Burberry Fago. It got leaked like six times. And then the label was like, you know what? Just drop the song and they made a music video with Cole Bennett. And that Jay got over like 250 million views. Yeah. So, like, if you got a leaked song, clearly the reason why it keeps getting played when it's leaked is because it got potential. So yeah. the fans choose what songs are popular. Right. But that's the problem with labels. They don't, they don't listen to the fans. But that's why a lot of careers get tanked. Yeah, they don't. It's a shame. What's other topics you got left, like, boy? Uh, let's see. I think we're pretty much wrapping up on it. So, let's see. But, uh, yeah, pretty much. Oh, we got to talk about uh, Lakers and Celtics going down. Oh, Rio. yeah. Right now, Lakers, I got I to gotta, I gotta get up and take a lap. Bro, Lakers is disappointing me, bro. <laughs> I, feel like, I, feel like, I, I feel like they might as well take me off the bench and throw me in the game because this is outrageous. How LeBron be dropping 40 points on like 35, 35 to 40 points on average? Then we go get the broom because they getting swept. Damn. Nah, not the broom. Nah, you brought the broom out, man. Oh my gosh. I, I, I see some dirt. I see a little bit, <laughs> a little yeah. bit of LeBron right there. Yeah, don't talk about LeBron. I'm sorry, man. Bro, he, 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 he is letting me down. But, but he's he out of there right now. So, but but think about it this way, right? They're yeah. saying in all of history, no one has ever like come back from a three O lead from a three O lead in yeah. ever in history. So if the Lakers can pull this off, then we then it'll be impressive. But it's just like I have so much money invested into the Lakers. I don't get out to games. I don't buy jerseys and merchandise. Yeah, you actually went to a game. Yeah, but like, they won that. Did they win that game? Yeah, they they beat the Suns that night when I went to see. But it's just like I see LeBron drop forty points and he dropping like twenty. Like what's going, on? LeBron? I was debating. Hey, hey, if they would have won, I was, and they would have played in the finals. I was debating on going to one of the games because I would have been on leave if they started. Yeah, transfer yeah, tickets would have been. I don't think they got They gonna be like nine hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, at that point, I'm, I'm paying. I'm gonna just drop fifteen hundred. I'm But I also got a credit card, so I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good but they're not making the final, so that happens. <laughs> Bro, if, if they make the final, we're gonna have to play this clip back because that would be crazy. Yeah. I'm, I'm not giving up hope because LeBron has. They they, they came back from three one. You think they're gonna beat him four games straight? Cause you remember when the fuck no. <laughs> if he does do that though. But they're they're gonna have to. But let's go ahead and shout out the boy Jimmy Butler, man. man. They, they, Jimmy Butler oh, and Jamal cook. Murray too. No, he been cooking. Too. Hey, Jamal Murray been cooking too on the Nuggets. They Both of them boys been balling. They, 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 they didn't upgrade Jimmy Butler's name to Jimmy Butler. Shout out my boy Joe, Jimmy dude Jimmy I grew up with. He a diehard Denver fan. He from Denver. I went to high school with. Yeah. So he like the only real Denver fan I know. That nigga be in my DMs all the time talking hella shit, and I can't even say shit back because. The niggas yeah, is balling for real. They the Nuggets is balling for real. They doing that shit. That's real fast paced basketball, bro. Bro, like, the closest they ever got to winning, I think they were down by like 10 points. Mm-hmm. And that's the closest. And that was like the, the most recent game, the one that happened yeah. like, uh, on Saturday. You know what's so crazy? They keep saying about the script says the Lakers were Celtics. But I'm like, bro, <laughs> you keep saying the L- there's only the There's only one game in history that I think was great, bro. And it was when uh, the Patriots and Tom Brady, when they had the deflate gate. That's the only oh, against the Colts. Yes, that's the nah, only nah. that's the only yeah, match in history. Out. But I, I don't think that was rigged though, because the Colts would have lost the ball. Ball. That was like the one year I actually think is rigged. Like the rest were the rest were like this. Huh? They were literally looking the other way at the whole game. Yeah, but they would have lost anyway. Them niggas was trash. I watched that game. That, the Colts, that them deflated balls had nothing to do with them getting their ass with 45 or whatever. And also I I I have to bring this up. I haven't said this in a while, but damn, I wish the Seahawks would have ran that ball, man. Yeah. Russell, Russell Wilson. Tom Brady wants some lucky ass Super Bowls. Let's keep it real. Fuck that. We, 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 nah, that, that, that Falcons Ooh. Super Bowl, the Patriots and the Falcons, when them niggas was down 28 to 3, bro. Uh-huh. I don't, to this day, I'm still flabbergasted. I don't even use that word. I'm flabbergasted that <laughs> them niggas came down, came back 25 yeah, points in the game. I got this in the crevices of the country. Was the fucking game with uh, Cam Newton and Peyton Manning, bro. Oh, that was the Broncos. Yeah. And, the Super and it was Black History Month. Dropped the fucking ball. Yeah, he yeah, dropped the ball. Yeah. They didn't even try to get on it when he first. Oh, yeah, okay. 
Okay, well, you know what I am looking forward to, though? Whenever this next game ends, Arnie Sewer is going to make a skit about it. And you know, their locker room videos be hilarious. I'm doing it every time. Fun. He was a doctor. He said, he was like, so we're not good in the West. He said, we still good in the West, y'all? We still good in the West, y'all? When he had the... How old is he? He said, he's how old is he? he said, how old is LeBron? <laughs> and they had Katie call. They had Katie call. He was like, who's this? He said, I'm not going to play for you, bro. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> No, the funniest one to me to this day is when LeBron, he was like, LeBron, I'm 36. When he's like, not, the Nets got James Harden. Bro. Blake Griffin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He said, he said they're talking about that shit. They were like, oh, they're talking about Katie's in his prime. He said, I'm supposed to be in my prime. How, why, how do you see recovering? <laughs> like, I'm 36. The, the, the crazy thing is, that was three years ago. That was that was shit. Crazy. And you know LeBron posted that shit on his Twitter. Yeah, and everybody was like, "Oh, so you really do watch the video?" So I know he in the locker room, mad as heck right now. <laughs> He's steaming. Oh shit! I, I know, I know. Like he had a he had a he, he had an angry bond to come out, bro. So when LeBron was at his son's like prom thing, like seeing the mom in the little car, so I know he had to like put on his his happy dad face and his his angry us uh, athlete face. He had to put that face back. Like, I can't let my son see me. I gotta yeah. cheer him on while he go with his little snow money. Not the snow. Man, as long as he treat her right and yeah, she ain't what she ain't with him for the money, she with him because she fold him. That's all right, man. We'll, we'll, we'll see if she with him for the money. It shouldn't be about race. race. I mean, no, it's not about race. I'm just trying I just wanna see if she with him for the money. How she gonna end up like Russell Wilson first wife? <sighs> you see the video? <sighs> she got we happy got when he got drafted. We got paid! You, you see what happened with the Ball Brothers? Everybody except uh What's his name? Leangelo? Right. No, not Leangelo. Lamelo is the only one that's not that's not trapped by a woman. Out of all the Ball Brothers, Lamelo's like the only one that isn't trapped. And you know, crazy Lonzo, the only one that didn't make it to Lee, and he still got trapped. So you trying to get you mean Leangelo? Lonzo made the. Oh yeah, Leangelo. Sorry. It just, Lonzo was kind of a bust. I ain't gonna lie. Like I thought he was gonna do better. Yeah, but he famous. Some hoes don't care. He's, he still got. He got. Uh, he got number two draft pick though. Because uh, Markel Fultz, if he didn't get injured, bro, I don't really... That still, dude, still, what's up, man? I don't even hear about him no more. He's still yeah. good, though. Are you on the Magic? He, he, had, he, he had got, like, uh, an injury. Was he, he on the six and they traded him to the Magic? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, they said Obama playing tonight for the Lakers. Lakers. The only one of the few uh, athletes that got a rap song named after him. Yeah. You know what's crazy? They got all these people on the bench, and they out here holding them back like that? I think Obama was injured, though. No, you, remember when, you remember when KD so, was your boy D-Lo, though? No, no. You remember when KD was injured? And, <laughs> you remember when KD was injured and then they put him back with the Suns? And then he got up. Look, look. It ain't working. It ain't. Nah, yeah, it's more like this. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what D-Lo doing. He keeps practicing after every loss, but it's not working. <laughs> you see the video? Like, D-Lo practicing after the game. He, he, make, he, think he, about Kobe. he make it after the game, but during the game, he ain't making yeah, no buckets. Nah, no, bro. You remember when they brought... KD was injured, right? So he didn't play in one of the games, the last game with the Suns and the Lakers. But when he came back, I was like, oh, he hooping, but then they still lost. I said, man, that's right. He really, he really came out of recovery and didn't do anything. Yeah, I think <laughs> Lakers going to win this game? Awesome. Well, they playing the night. It would be lovely if they won. It would be great, you know. Nah. It would be as positive as seeing like <laughs> it would be as positive as seeing dogs I'm recover from some, like injury. Kick my feet up. If they if they if the Lakers win this next match, I would personally wear my Lakers jersey under my uniform when I go to work. No, you won't. I'm, I'm, gonna, be, I'm gonna be like CMC will be up in your house. I'm gonna tell Amy. She don't need to see on She not. She not to work. Anyway, I'm finna be. I'm finna pull up like Superman. I'm gonna be like. Y'all needed Mr. James? Y'all like, hey, hey, finna lose uh, Austin. Austin. Why you keep saying y'all? The Lakers ain't my team. I just yeah. like LeBron. There's, oh, there's, but there's, but there's, I feel like they're only saying that if, uh, if, they, if, they, don't, if they don't. I heard something some today some that, that they said they might keep Austin and sign Kyrie. I don't know why they don't get rid of Austin. He was dropping buckets. No, because he, no, he, he, get, he get a bigger offer. Yeah. He get like a, up to like an 80 million contract. But I also heard the Lakers said they'll match whatever. If, if they if they can if they can beat these the sweep if they can prevent themselves from getting swept then they're gonna be like all right man you, you got some potential you were able to flip a three zero we like that he said let's talk numbers I don't think D'Lo's fan though I do see no I hope we'll see the only way they he'll, they'll they get rid of D'Lo and get Kyrie but D'Lo he's hooping though like yeah we're not actually gonna be dropping points here not not he's been hooping a lot not, not, yeah yeah these games I don't want Kyrie but like previously he ain't better than Kyrie so all the games that led up to the split he was hooping. He, he was dropping like 24 or 28 points. I don't even like Kyrie, but he ain't better than Kyrie. Like Kyrie. I don't like his personality. You don't like his personality. What, 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 what I got to do with Hooper? No, I said as a player. I, 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 I don't like Kyrie. I never seen him do to offend you. I ain't never no, seen him do to offend you. I don't like how you snake Braun, bro. 
He stayed wrong by taking a better offer of more money. No, when he said that, he, he don't, he don't listen to this channel. Channel. When he said he don't get a shot, but then he apologized to me. I apologized. I shouldn't have done that. What about that? By the way, I'm like, no, own up to it. You didn't want to play on LeBron, so why you? Why you bitching? Because he still wanted to be friends with him, but he, he just he don't hate him. He just also I'm trying to be on my own different path. That's how I grew. I feel like I feel like he take he, he take yeah, he it hard. Like, he, 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 like, no, he's he a good player, though. I'm gonna no, no, I'm talking about like him. You can't call him a snake if he was like, I just want to be my own person. It's my opinion, nigga. Yeah, I can't have an opinion. No, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he's just trying to leave it. But nah, it would be a good look. If he went to the Lakers, that'd be a good look. Okay, okay so man. since we on the basketball topic, we about to wrap this shit up. I was gonna get my Glock for this one, but goddamn, Tyler pulled his shit out faster than I could. That dude. They, they got they got all the song about John Ray. He said a piece of plastic pistol a lot like John Ray. You seen the Polo G song with him and Susie Gill? Yeah. He had the little Instagram uh, live skit. He just flashed the pistol. And now the the strip club, the girl in the strip club are, are pressing charges against John Ray. Because he but, didn't apologize? It doesn't make sense. He spent over 30k at the strip club. Yeah, so fuck them girls. So I feel like that's cap. Like, they, I, how they gonna wait like a two months after the situation to be like, we want to press charges? They're just trying to get some money. Yeah, I seen the uh, news article about homeboy, the UFC fighter, when the, his girlfriend wants to have yeah, his yeah, money because yeah. they were dating oh, uh, for Israel, a long time. What kind she of was shit like, is that? She said we dated for a very long time. He no, said, are you? He was like, my friend, are you stupid? Are you dumb? But you know, so crazy. Some places in some states, they call it. It's a common law of some shit. Mm -hmm. So like, if you're not married, but you together for like more than for a long time. They they consider the common law. Man. Yeah, her, she gonna have to have OJ's lawyers to be able to pull something like that off. Ain't That's no wild to me, bro. I feel like we ain't never officially been married. I don't even no care kids, how long. No we kids. Come well, on. I don't care how long we date, bitch. You ain't get my money, yeah. like, bro. That's but crazy. Let, let's talk about one more thing. One more thing. What's up? I'm really pissed about this too, man. I really wanted her so bad, bro. Since a little fucking kid. Ooh, what are you talking about the John the Majors and this uh, nigga got the best fumble recovery of ever all time, bro. What talking about John the Majors and that yeah. hurt about it, bro. I'm hurt, bro. Man, bro, you was not gonna run into her, bro. You never know, bro. I'm sitting at the stadium when he's sipping on that Pepsi. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to. My brother probably needs some help, but God, I do. Like, yeah, I see him on a private jet together on the shade room together and shit. Hey, man. Oh, man. Let's find. I can't wait to find out. Megan Good said, "I don't care if you beat bitches, you can beat this pussy." Though. That's what she was saying. She got a hidden <laughs> cigarette <laughs> pack. She got a hidden <laughs> cigarette pack somewhere. There you go, man. Trying to get what, bro? Don't be made, bro. Like, I really hope the allegations not true because that phone call didn't 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 look like it was doing any good. She was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't do that at all. Though they were going to get the police involved. I, I had to do my Dave Chappelle voice, and he was like, You know, Dave, I just didn't think they were going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro. Because I really hope if John DeMaid, if he's literally the face of Marvel for the Village King, I don't know if y'all saw Ant Man. They talking about they trying to replace him. But he was boxing with old boy. Yeah. From uh, Snowfall. The dude that was uh, dating uh, Dan Slory Hardy. Dan Slory Hardy. Yeah, dude, that was dating Lori Hardy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he, like he's not like he's not bigger than that. Yeah, Relax. Right. I said the dude dating. No, but Lori I feel like he tried, he tried I'm him. not trying to play him. I'm, that's why I know him. For what else he been in? Snowfall. What else? He been in a uh, storm. The Danny Glover show where he oh, was yeah. beating no girl back. Oh, he's down. Oh, so, and that was on Twitter. Chloe Bailey. Was it? I know he's big money. He does know his wings. Oh my God, Catherine. What are you talking about? Take it. This man got the cap, no, bro. bro. He got the cap. Oh my god! Look, I said, see him because of. He said, what, uh, "What's his name? What's his name?" He, he knows exactly who it is. What you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I seen him on the. I didn't see the show. I just seen him on Twitter. Him and uh, that scene that they kept talking about. That's funny. That's hilarious. He hasn't cracked it on Lisa. He said, "He was like, who? He, he might be a little Reese. Uh, I don't know, but I got to do my research. <laughs> nah, I just didn't know this place. I heard he's a good actor, though. Yeah, he is a good actor. I, don't, I can't see him as no fucking. But they like, did him dirty though know. in that fucking so far. I, what, was he? Then he played Franklin. But it's crazy though. Like, yeah, no, those no, his mom. Have to listen to his mom did him dirty. Yeah, she can't wait ten seconds. But also, I was just gonna say like, it, it doesn't make sense like to. Cause he's already been in so many things right now. Like he was in the Loki show. He's in Ant Man, and they already like filmed a majority. Of, if they refilm it, it's gonna push everything back by at least two to three years. That's right cool, now, because that's gonna give DC enough time to come back. But think about it, they already pushed the schedule back because of COVID, so anymore it's gonna be this is gonna be too much. Man, man fuck all that. When Grand Theft Auto Six drop? Uh, they over here talking about bro. We're, we're, we're adding skiing. <laughs> Somebody to, tell me, bro. We're adding skiing to the future. We've been waiting on this game for ten plus years. I'm sorry, I just added like, this in. Dude, I need to know. You, you want to know? You want to know what the other reason why the game was getting delayed so much? Why? So GTA Six, they're they're using they're using a whole bunch of like that. They're getting the license to use all the cars. Yeah. Right. 
There's gonna be BMWs, Mercedes Benz. There's no longer, you know, like in every other game, they make car lookalikes. Yeah. They even have fake Tesla. They be having Bessels in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they, be, they be having, they be having less things. Um, well, none of the Grand Theft Auto games was never name brand cars. Anymore. Exactly, but in this one, they're doing all the official. So that means it's a money play, right? So they're getting the official license for the cars. Yeah, I saw that. I didn't read. Have you just, not seen the trailer? They dropped the tra- official trailer on Rockstar Games YouTube page. I didn't see, I didn't see they, in the video, in the video for Rockstar's page, they had like when this come out? Like yesterday? No, like a year and a half ago. Where y'all been? At? I would have. I'm I'm just saying they had added some features where you can go snowboard. I'm gonna show because they're saying like you can go into every store that was shot. Like every store you can walk into it. That's supposed. The that's only thing, that's, that's gonna take ten plus years. Bro, the only thing that I'm getting from this, <laughs> the only thing I'm getting from this is that they're just gonna build this for the next twenty years. Yeah, bro. So they're Look, just gonna put everything they can. It's gonna be called GTA Six Plus. Yeah. <laughs> like, but I, I heard they're trying to make where you get in a plane and go to like different fucking. Uh, you can go to all the states and no, all the different cities, states. Uh, you can go to shit, bro. That should be lit. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can go, you can go to Vice City, San Andreas. Yeah, that's all I heard. They put all the Liberty City. You know, it's basically and that's basically. Like, characters it's kind of like uh Ooh, Warzone. The first female main characters yeah, like yeah. That. it's kind of gonna be like Warzone. that shit gonna be dope it's gonna be like wars on gta them them spend it them them you oh, i can't even speak them making this game for 10 plus years that shit better be like the best game Look, of all time think, think about this like, right anytime like a uh, like a game developer it takes time to make it it's usually better you remember what they did with cyberpunk 2099 yeah. the game was so glitchy Remember, and all the Call of Duty games that they've been milking and dropping every year. <laughs> the two, same game over and over. 2K, after 2K17, 2K18 to 2K20, was it literally not the same game, just with a different Same thing with Madden. Game. Even I fought with Madden. But and and, I, and I, I love playing sports. I be handing the L's on Madden. It's the reason why I stopped playing sports. Y'all need to bring back street, street really. football, basketball. Y'all need to bring that back. And I need Def Jam to come fuck back to. Def Jam. Def Jam, hell yeah. You know what would be crazy though? But they need a new version. Yeah. I don't want the old shit. I want to fight, fight Lil Baby. Look, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They need, they need no, a... No, Drake would be the final boss. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. It, it, it's going to be QC versus OV. It's going to be QC versus OV. He's going to be like, it's going to be him. He's going to be like, so it ain't mine. It's time for me. 21 going to hop out of nowhere. He's like, I can't tell you. He's like, he's like 21. He's like, I'm going to me. 21 ain't going to so he ain't even gonna fight. He's just gonna fight. And that's no, the end of the game. No, it's gonna be Drake. Don't actually use abilities. He just gonna he, you gonna you gonna press X and then uh, twenty one gonna pop up with with the with the, uh, the freaking glock and just and it's like, <laughs> like death stroke. Oh uh, shit! You gotta you gotta send twenty one back to the UK and then defeat. It's, gonna, it's gonna be a side. It's gonna be a side mission. Oh, yeah. get his passport back. Hey, next episode, Money Bag Yo album going to be dropped. Kodak, Kodak, Kodak and Dirk. So we definitely going to be talking oh, about that, that fast shit. Ten, we're going to talk about the Fast 10 yeah. track list. So this and we're going to talk about that Ack and Dirk interview, too. Yeah. We're about to drop. Yeah, there's a lot to talk about. We might have to, make, we have, might have to bring them back for the next episode. It's pretty entertaining, man. It's pretty entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. I almost had to beat on somebody today. Damn, damn. The hostility. Shut up, YouTube, 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 man. Cancel it. I'm going to have to turn the camera over because when I box them off screen, it's going to be a problem. Make a move. Mr. Red Boots, relax. But yeah. Uh, there, there you go. Yeah, that was good. I don't know. That was good for you. Yeah, everybody trying to ride the trend. That's crazy. I'm, I'm trying to get like juice. You'd be like, bro, cop. Bro, come over here real quick. I can't get these bitches out. I'm stuck. You know what? You know what's bigger? You know what's our head? You know what's really crazy? You know what's really, know what's really crazy? He wanted to try on the boots. No, I just wanted. I wanted the likes on uh, Instagram. Yeah. That's yeah. why I did it. I actually wear them shit. I don't know. Here we go. With, I'm not taking all this and say, Here we go with the cap. No, I took pictures first. For first you know, and you know, and you know that I game more traction to the podcast, right? Because everybody was in my DM. Oh, you bought? How much they call it? I'm like, I'm gonna do this. It costs three fifty. Three fifty. Yeah, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, if you don't got it like that, just say you don't got it like No, that. I just don't want to spend it on that. So, all right, that's cool. That's I, I, this is crazy how he was just trying to be like, oh, this and that. But he was he was trying to on. I did it for he the was, likes. He was like, I did it for the he likes. Was, he, was, he was like, flip me up. I did it for the <laughs> likes. I did it for the lights and the trash. No, 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 he, he, he said, hey, he's Playboy, he up. He said, make sure you get the dinner. Like, I didn't make sure no good. I did it for the lights, Playboy. And then we not going the hallway. And you know, we almost got like 150 views right on the last part. Yeah, right? I, I, I see that. Because that shit gained traction. People yeah. were interested when they seen them red boots. Because of me, I brought it there. Your audience and my audience brought them together. Okay. But uh, I think we about done with this. <laughs> <laughs> if, we, if we keep this podcast going any longer, I'm going to start fighting this camp for real, for real. So I'm gonna tap out too. So we are uh, the boots. I'm gonna stomp. I'm gonna be like, ooh, with the red print on his face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, cap, we got real cap. But until next time, though, I fuck with y'all. I'm gonna fuck with y'all. You might be on the next episode too, though. I had to. All right. <laughs> Peace.